As Flip couldn't attend this year's downtown showdown, we decided to come over this way and have Paul run us through from start to finish how skateboard is, is really made. It's a pretty neat process, so hopefully Paul's in after knock on the door nicely, quietly. He knew we were coming. This is Paul, he rips. Paul's been manufacturing skateboards for over 30 years for some of the biggest brands in the industry. And, you know, when I was growing up, I rode plenty of uh, early boards that he made. It's amazing to see just how many, how many people it takes to make a skateboard from, from the start to the end. You know, it's such a, such a rad thing to watch happen. When most people go into a skate shop, you don't really appreciate you know, how much time goes into the whole process, you know, through to making the board, uh, to getting the graphic on there, to shrink wrap it, to get it to the stores, for it to be on the wall. Removal of the gloves, very yeah. important process. I mean, the actual pressing of the board is the most primitive part, so that, for me, is kind of the raddest thing to, to watch go down. There's a lot of stages to making a skateboard, and, and I don't know a lot about that, but Paul does, and that's why we came here, because Paul's really good at uh, explaining to people how skateboards are made, really so a kid can understand that. And uh, I think that's really, really important for kids to see. Beautiful shape. There's a, there's a real reason why I came over here today, to build boards and build them through Paul. And it's because I think that a lot of stuff that Paul does in all the local schools with the Creator Skate. It's a really fantastic uh, little program for kids to watch happen. So now we're going to take the boards to paint. Um, so when Paul goes to all those the local schools and shows the kids how boards are made, and I think they really kind of connect a little bit more with what skateboarding is all about. I don't really see that happening in too many other industries. I don't really see people from basketball going and showing kids how, how the bats are made or anything like that. And that's one thing that skateboarding's got unique is that uh, there's a lot of people that are willing to work together for the good of everybody and for the benefit of everybody. And uh, the manufacture of skateboards is a perfect thing to showcase, and, and Paul does that really well. All right, complete the end. Yeah. Jeff Rowley, we're at the downtown showdown, in Los Angeles at Paramount Studios. Lights are gone down, the spotlights are up, and it's time for the second half of the downtown showdown. It's a uh, hieroglyph of pure evil. This crazy star thing with like all these trannies on it. God, I gotta say, it's pentagram. It's crazy. This, this, this is a whole different level. It's by a company uh, called Creature, which has a little bit of a dark image. So it's really cool that they got to do something they wanted. So I love that obstacle. Uh, it's, it's got some trannies and it's got some flat banks. And... It goes every direction. It's, it's gonna be a lot of collisions. I think it's maybe the best thing here. She said it was just as dangerous as the year before, and I thought for sure no dice. Last year we had some other thing, and uh, it was dangerous. I don't know if you remember Omar San. He got hurt on it somehow, a little bit, a little scratch. I just talked to Lee like a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, so what's our obstacle? And he's like, it's a pentagram. And I'm like, how, the f how are we going to skate a pentagram? Um, you can do some more technical skating instead of just slashing around, I suppose. People could do like flip tricks into a manual. I'm gonna have to go with the creature obstacle. That's my favorite right now. That's the only thing I skated today, too, really. The pool coping, if anybody grinds around that, like if they do anything, it's insane. Al is killing it already. I actually wish this thing was like at the end of a cul-de-sac somewhere so we could like session it more. You see, it makes a real nice look from up here, so. Yeah. It's just good to look at. Oh, 
Austin. Smith Ryan Manning dropping on the bank. Johnny Layton, did he do the trick? Crook up to switch 50 to fakey. Tony Cervantes oh. over there, airwalk to fakey. 